This is the next important step for Nevada to protect reproductive freedom and particularly our abortion rights in this state. Voters here in Nevada aren't just deciding between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris for president. They're also voting on question six. Then we hope we vote yes on six. Thank you. Laura Campbell is going door to door, telling people why she thinks a yes vote on question six is so important. Abortion access actually saved my life more than once. And I just think it's important that after Roe v. Wade was overturned, that the state protects us. But at an anniversary celebration for First Choice Pregnancy Services, a religious nonprofit providing alternatives to abortions, People like Deborah Costello are worried that question six will pass. The fight can seem overwhelming. Millions and millions of dollars in our state supporting the abortion industry. Nevadans already voted in 1990 to make abortion legal up to 24 weeks. But Democrats fear a second Trump presidency could overturn those rights, even though Trump says the issue should be left for each state to decide. If question six passes, the existing protections would become part of the state's constitution, making them even more difficult to remove. I mean, we've seen lives are being lost across, uh, what, 22 states have abortion bans, and we don't want that to happen in Nevada. Jessica Ponce de Leon is a first-time U.S. voter. She planned to vote yes on question six and for Kamala Harris even before Campbell knocked on her door. I don't think that the government should have any say over women's bodies or any of that. Um, I definitely feel like women should have total control over their body. Nevada is one of 10 states this election year to give voters the choice to decide how and when abortion should be legal. In past election years, putting that issue on the ballot has boosted voter turnout and benefited Democratic candidates up and down the ticket. Christian Mersch, a Brazilian immigrant who got pregnant in an abusive relationship and chose to keep her baby, is a board member of Nevada Right to Life. Without life, there's no liberty, there's no other rights. If you don't respect life, there's, there's going to be racism, human trafficking, and I just feel that we're disposable right now. While the issue is motivating young voters, first-time voter Emily Costello says minds can be changed. And not all young voters will vote for Democrats. If you can visually see how destructive that is to just a single human being, that'll change your mind instantly, instantly. A nationwide survey released this week by independent health polling source KFF says a growing number of women cite abortion rights as their top issue since Kamala Harris became the Democratic nominee for president. Catherine Gibson, VOA News, Las Vegas, Nevada.